Here's what Maitland thinks. Maitland, what Maitland thinks. Free beer, hot wings, Steve, Justin, and listeners. So working with five men, boobs are obviously a pretty common topic of conversation. <laughs> and they're great. They sustain life. People like to look at them. And ladies, you know the feeling of having a good boob day. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's such a variety of boobs out there. You got big ones, you got unnaturally gigantic ones, medium ones, saggy ones, perky ones, and then there's itty bitty ones. Yes, itty bitty ones. I know. How boring, right? Just sucks that some women have nothing up top to show off and have enjoyed by men. I hope you sense the sarcasm there because I'm here with my lumps of fat that seem to not be big enough for some people, and I assume I'm not the only one. <laughs> mm. Almost a spit take from just. <laughs> yeah. I'll just address right now what people who look at me can already see, or rather not see, and that's my boobs. This is not an invitation to go and inspect my body. I repeat, <laughs> do not talk to me about my boobs after this. <laughs> right. Okay. Yes, Fair enough. I have little boobs, and people make me feel like I should be guilty about that. Get this, I used to work at a grocery store in high school, and one day I was bagging this old dude's groceries, and he was just staring me down. I later found out, after I walked away, that he was asking another cashier if I was chairman of the club. What club do you ask? The itty-bitty, you-know-what-word-to-fill-in here committee. Yeah, yeah. good job. Yeah. <laughs> when I was 16, a 60-plus-year-old man Jesus. thought that was appropriate, but it's not just that. Why is it people think boob size is so important? Why should my boobs or lack thereof have anything to do with doing a job? I bring this up from six years ago because I had thought as I became an adult, others would behave like adults too. It was only a matter of time, though, before someone proved me wrong and commented on it on Twitter recently. All I could say and all I can even say now is, really, dude? Did that really make you feel good? You really think you just pointed out some new revelation? I know you maybe just wanted attention or to try and fit in with the style of humor on the show, but come on, dude, it's 2018. We respect women now. Women are smart, funny, and we have something just under our mammary, mammary glands that's even bigger than our boobs, our hearts. Oh. So why are boobs something people focus on in the workplace? I'm lucky to work in radio. What I look like shouldn't matter. I mean, we got webcams and all that. But still, whenever people ask why I want to work in radio, my top answer is that people value your personality before they have a chance to judge how you look. I don't think I'm hideous. But I shouldn't be made to feel insecure about something I'm pretty okay with. When it comes to dating or finding people you're attracted to, everyone's got preferences, and that should be the only time you judge someone on their boob size, unless they have a profession that requires them to. But lucky for me, this isn't the free boob and hot racks show. Oh, man. I wish you missed out on that. You think Audrey Hepburn became a film, fashion, and philanthropic success because of her cup size? Well, she was a 34A. I Googled it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's true. And she helped the resistance against the Nazis in Holland in World War II and had a net worth of $100 million. What? Someone with little boobies can actually be pretty badass? <laughs> yes, she was. And my other small busted bitches out there, we can too. So before you go and try to make someone feel like they are inadequate or that they should feel guilty for not having something, well, two somethings, to catch your eye before you even hear them speak or see what they can do. How about you just act like a decent human being? Also, it's funny to me that people, the same people who love going to Hooters or other places like that or talk about women's boobs all the time are also the first to be all up in arms when a mom is breastfeeding in public, Mm. you know, putting her boobs to the use they were intended for. Contrary to popular belief, boobs aren't everything. Plus, women with small boobs can do pretty much everything other women can do And we can sleep on our stomachs comfortably, not wear bras and have almost nobody know, and pretty much wear any cut of shirt knowing the girls will stay in their assigned seats. (laughs) So all in all, when it comes to my ability to do my job and when it comes to my cup size, I'd say I have an A in both. I'm chairman of the itty bitty T word committee, and that's what I think. That's your new opinion from Maitland. More of the Free Beer and Hot Wing Show is next. Derp, 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 derp.